Welcome back. Let's continue to talk about the national income uh, accounting for、uh, open economy. Okay, here we're gonna explore the relationship between current account and saving. Okay, now let's start with the national income、uh, account identity, which we already learned in、uh, intermediate macroeconomics. And、um, this is a very simple equation. On the left hand side, it's the national output y, okay, which equals consumption c plus investment i plus government spending g plus exports ex minus imports, okay. And、um, obviously, this is、uh, the expenditure approach. Okay, so we're looking at you know who、uh, purchases the output. Okay, so it could be、uh, domestic consumers,、uh, investors, okay, or uh, businesses, uh, governments, and、uh, foreign consumers. Okay, so that's our export. Now we minus the imports because、uh, we also spend、uh, money on the imported goods and services. Right. However, the imported goods and services are not、um, domestically made. In other words, not made in the USA. Right. So we have to minus it. We have to take it off from the total expenditure to be able to get the national output. Okay. The left hand side thing. All right. And、um, what do we? Want to do here is we want to rewrite this、uh, national income account identity by moving consumption, investment, government spending to the left hand side of the equation. So you got y minus c minus g minus i, okay, which equals c a. C a again stand for、uh, current account, okay. So CA here would be the difference between exports and imports, okay. And、um, another way we can write this equation is、um, national saving as、uh, superscript national means national saving minus investment equals current account, okay. And it's actually、uh, current account surplus because here we're assuming that、uh, exports. Is greater than imports, so CA would be positive, okay. And、um, so here, national income would be y minus c minus g, okay. In other words, how much we produced, that's、um, in theory equals how much、uh, income we make, right? In other words, it's a national output and also national income minus、um, how much we consume,、um, you know, by the households and how much. Uh, consumed by government, right? So again, that's a national saving, all right. And here, from this equation, we can do a little trick, mathematical trick here, by minus t and plus t, okay?、Uh, and keep other parts exactly the same as the previous equation here, okay? So we still have y minus c. Minus g minus i as above, right? But the only difference here is we add here minus t and plus t into the equation, all right? So these two should be cancelled out, right? So we go back to the previous equation. Now the reason we want to make this、uh, adjustment on the left hand side of the equation is y minus t, that's disposable income. Right, y is the total income, t is the taxes, so y minus t is the after-tax income. In other words, disposable income. Right, disposable income minus consumption, then we get private saving here. Right, in other words, how much、uh, would be saved by households? Okay. By the way, here T taxes minus government spending. This would give us public saving, right? T means how much money flows into government offices, and G would be how much money flowing out of the government offices, 
the difference would be public saving. In other words, how much would be saved by governments. Okay. All right. So here, what we do is we uh, rewrite this uh, equation by replacing the y minus t minus c with s private. In other words, private saving. Okay. And we keep minus i on the left hand side of the equation, but we move uh, t minus g to the right hand side of the equation. So we got here, um, you know, because we're switching sides, so we have to switch their signs, okay, as well. In other words, t minus g becomes g minus t here. Okay? All right. And um, on the worksheet, uh, you should be able to find uh, the numerical examples about, you know, these mathematical derivations. Okay? In other words, uh, from the national income account identity, we already find the relationship among, you know, these variables. Okay? And uh, please finish these numerical examples and bring uh, the worksheet to the class. We're going to discuss that. Okay. All right. Now let's continue doing that. So we haven't yet finished this, uh, uh, the math derivation. Okay. Now this time, um, I just write out um, these variables so it will be easier uh, for you guys to, you know, like, like it's directly visible, right? Which uh, uh, variable we're looking at here. So again, S private is private saving, as we said. I stands for investment, right? So the left hand side is exactly the same. Okay. Now on the right hand side, uh, current account, uh, I'm writing it out here, which is the difference between exports and imports, right? Now um, I will explain why we need to do this in a minute. Okay. Now the last part of the right hand side of the equation would be uh, G minus T. Okay, G minus T, if we're assuming government spending is greater than taxes, then this difference would give us budget deficit of the government. Okay, now we want to do this because um, if we're taking the United States as an example, then of course for, for most of the years in our history, uh, especially in re recent decades, uh, the U.S. government is running a, a huge deficit, right? So we want to, you know, just look at the, the budget deficit here as a part of the equation, all right? Now, the next thing is, again, a, a very simple um, trick in this algebra, okay? So we're going to keep the left-hand side of the equation the same, which is the difference between private saving and investment. And on the right hand side, we're going to move the budget deficit to the front, okay? Uh, which minus here brackets uh, imports minus exports. So what we're doing is we um, switch these two, okay? Exports and imports. And then we take the minus sign out of the brackets, okay? So once we switch it, it becomes minus imports plus exports right? But once we take the minus sign out of the brackets, then it becomes minus uh, imports minus exports, okay? Or you can remove the brackets here, then you would immediately get minus imports plus exports. So that's exactly what we uh, saw here uh, in the previous line, okay? Now, the reason we want to do this, we want to write out exports and imports, we want to switch their uh, prices and put them into a brackets is here you would find that imports minus exports. The difference is what we call trade deficit. Okay? Uh, here, obviously, we're assuming the imports um, is greater than exports. In other words, um, what this country buys from the rest of the world is more than what it uh, produces uh, or sells to the rest of the world. So this in the brackets here, it's going to be the trade deficit. Okay. All right. Now here, this is finally what we want. 
and you would be able to find that for a given level of private saving and investment. In other words, the left hand side of the equation is given. It's fixed. It's a constant. Okay, this difference. So you don't have to worry about the left hand side. Then budget deficit and trade deficit are positively correlated. How so? Remember, the left hand side is a constant, right? So when budget deficit goes up, then the trade deficit must go up as well, so that the difference would remain the same, right? Vice versa, if, for example, the trade deficit fi oh, falls, then the budget deficit must be falling, so that the difference between these two remains the same. This is so-called the twin deficit hypothesis.